Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for August 3rd, 2020. We have a lot to talk about, so let's just dive right into it. Because, man, oh man, it's going to get stormy for the first week of August. We have a cold front that is stalling over the region right now. You can see the difference in the temperatures. Over the interior, we have temperatures ranging from the mid-60s to lower 70s, slightly lower humidity. Along the coast, much more humid. A tropical air mass is locked in with temperatures ranging from the mid-70s to lower 80s, dew points in the mid-70s. It feels like a steam bath out there. Overall, we have scattered cloud cover and a few isolated showers here and there. Nothing that is producing any type of heavy rainfall, but just a pesky shower here and there uh, is in place this morning. Of course, all eyes are on our tropical storm, Iosis. This tropical storm is going to be a significant issue for our region, especially for tomorrow afternoon on through tomorrow evening. But leading up to that storm, there's still going to be that potential for some heavier showers and thunderstorms. Why? This is our stalling cold front. This right here, this is all tropical moisture. Let me give you another sign of it. This is precipitable water value. This is the amount of moisture in the atmosphere. Now, this is tropical. This is like super tropical, okay? So you can see kind of the train of where this moisture is starting to go, okay? And that's all because of upper level winds coming in from the south and uh, west. So when we zoom in and take a look at our tropical storm, as of 5 a.m., it has winds of 70 miles per hour, it has a pressure of 994 millibars, very close to becoming a hurricane. I want to stress this though. It doesn't matter for us whether it becomes whether it stays a strong tropical storm or is a category one hurricane at landfall. It's still the same type of storm, same storm structure, same concerns with heavy rainfall and strong winds for tomorrow. So don't get all tangled up in the terminology of tropical storm or hurricane. It's still going to be the same type of scenario for us no matter what. Okay, the only time that there was a, any chance for this becoming a significantly different type of storm was earlier on the weekend when there was that window where it could strengthen into a category two or three hurricane. But that is long gone. Okay, so just want to make that very clear because I'm sure you'll see a lot of alerts like, oh, it became a hurricane, which is expected uh, for this afternoon. Take a look at our surface winds. You can see there is our tropical storm very well defined here with the winds coming circling around the center and when we take a look at the satellite picture very well established here is the center here's all your convection trying to wrap around it not exactly a textbook hurricane but still it is clearly a tropical low pressure system with plenty of moisture and thunderstorms to work with so when we zoom out and let's take a look at the infrared satellite picture here is our tropical storm. Here is our first cold front. This is stalling out. This will act as kind of like the railroad for the moisture and the center of this storm to track along. So where this stalls out will tell us where it basically eventually tracks specifically and where it specifically tracks will tell us where the heaviest rainfall is actually going to set up. But everyone's going to get heavy rainfall out of this. Then this cold front right back here this is kind of like the broom. It sweeps everything out by Wednesday morning with some lingering showers and thunderstorms followed by clearing skies thereafter. A little bit closer to home as the sun is rising, you can see our stationary front starting to lock in and our scattered cloud cover throughout the region. Cloud cover will increase as we go on through the day as more and more moisture streams northward and the potential for showers and thunderstorms will increase, especially for this evening and for the overnight hours. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Stationary front hangs around. Watch out for a pesky isolated shower or thunderstorm. And with the tropical moisture, it has the potential to produce some very heavy downpours. It's going to be steamy out there with temperatures ranging from the mid-80s to lower 90s, feeling like the mid-90s with all that humidity in the atmosphere. For tonight on through tomorrow morning, our stationary front lingers around the region. Tropical storm Iosis starts to approach the area with increasing showers and thunderstorms becoming widespread by the time we get to tomorrow morning lows in the mid 70s for tomorrow afternoon iosis lifts through the region very heavy rainfall 
We're looking at basically two to four inches of rain throughout the region with some locally higher amounts up to six inches. As you head up towards the Poconos and the Catskills, still looking at one to three inches generally, but definitely some spots over four inches would be possible. Also, winds sustained easily over the interior around 10 to 20 miles per hour along the coast, looking anywhere from 20 to 50 miles per hour, depending on whether or not you get into that core of tropical storm force winds. Right now, we are expecting the, uh, trop the storm to remain at tropical storm strength while moving through the region. There is a chance, though, that since it's moving over land, that it could weaken a little bit faster. Still, you can expect strong winds and wind gusts easily over 50 miles per hour in some of those heavier bands. Coastal flooding, not extensive, but definitely some minor coastal flooding, especially with some of those astrological influences already from the full moon from yesterday and also for today. So definitely there are some of those factors. So just be prepared for some minor, maybe a few isolated locations of moderate coastal flooding. But the primary story will be the very heavy rainfall. We'll have widespread rainfall starting late tonight, continuing on through tomorrow morning, and then the intense heavy rainfall. We're talking about rainfall rates of one to two inches per hour for tomorrow afternoon on through tomorrow evening as the core of this storm lifts through. Now, I'm sure you're going to hear a lot of talk about the heaviest rainfall shifted west, shifted east. It all depends on where the core sets up. And also, I want to also remind you, even if the primary core of that heavier rainfall is to your east or to your west, individual thunderstorms within the precipitation shield will still be capable of producing some very intense heavy rainfall. So your location may end up with three inches and your next door neighbor may only get about an inch. So that's why we also have that factor in this storm as well. So a lot of factors, any way you slice it, it's going to get wet tomorrow. So definitely be prepared for that. Temperatures won't be rising all that much. Look for mid-70s to lower 80s. On Wednesday morning, the cold front drives through with clearing skies expected by the afternoon hours. Again, some lingering showers and thunderstorms early in the morning, clearing skies in the afternoon. Temperatures on Wednesday will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows and lower to mid-80s for highs. On Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the cold front that moved through will stall out. We'll get these little waves of low pressure over the coastal water. Basically, that's going to lead to scattered cloud cover and an isolated shower or thunderstorm each afternoon. Not a washout, but a bit of a pest. Temperatures will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows, mid 60s over the interior, high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s, and slightly lower humidity. On Sunday, high pressures in control with clear skies and scattered cloud cover. Look for low temperatures in the upper 50s to mid 60s for lows and upper 70s to mid 80s for highs. And on Monday, high pressure starts to push off the coast. It's a threat for an isolated shower, but pretty much the sky cloud cover is expected. Low temperatures in the mid 60s to upper 60s and high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 80s. That is your forecast discussion for today. I hope you enjoy the forecast. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, stay safe out there.